Hi everyone, let's talk about the surface area and volume of a regular octahedron. A regular octahedron starts with a square and then it constructs two square base pyramids like this. So one square base pyramid on top and one square base pyramid below. Now what we want to do is find the surface area and the volume of this figure. It's a polyhedron. What we know is that each of the eight triangles is an equilateral triangle and the area of an equilateral triangle with side length s is equal to square root of 3 s squared over 4. So all we have to do is do 8 times the area and we get 2 square root of 3 s squared and that is the area, uh, the surface area of the regular octahedron. The, if the volume is a bit harder, um, what we have to do is analyze the anatomy of the diagonals of a square. So let's draw a square and then let's draw the diagonals. What we know is that by the Pythagorean theorem, if the side lengths are s, then the diagonals have length s squared plus s squared square root, which is equal to square root of 2s. And so half the diagonal would be that over 2, which is square root of 2s over 2. And what that allows us to do is find the height of the octahedron. So let me draw out an octahedron again. We start with the square. And I'm just going to draw the I'm just going to draw the the first one, the the one on top. It doesn't look quite regular, but uh, well, let me give it another shot. Let's draw it over here. That looks slightly better, although not that much better. Um, and if we draw the height, which goes to the center of the square, then we can find the height by drawing half the diagonal here. So let, let me draw this pink triangle out. We have square root of 2s over 2 here. It's half the diagonal. We have the height here, and we have s over here. So the height is equal to s squared minus square root of 2s over 2 squared, square root over the whole thing. And that is just equal to s squared minus s squared over 2 square root over the whole thing and that's equal to square root of 2 over 2 s. So that's the height of the uh, the square base pyramid. So at that point the volume is easy because we have another square base pyramid down here so we just multiply the volume by 2 so the volume is equal to 2 times the square area of the square base times height over 3 and that's equal to 2 times s square times square root of 2 over 2s all over 3 and that if you do the computation the the twos cancel out here and what we're left with is square root of 2s cubed over 3 and that's the volume of the octahedron. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.